Hey guys, Coach Elmi here with strongandfitforlife.com and this is part three series of my Make Bad Foods Good For You. And so since we are celebrating Cinco de Mayo, I thought I would show you an alternative to um, chips, eating chips. Um, and so we've made homemade chips and tostadas for a really long time so that we don't have to go out and buy them and get all that extra sodium and stuff on, uh, on them or use them. So I'm going to show you real quick how you do that. So my oven is set to 375 degrees right now. And then I'm going to turn this so you can see what I'm doing with um, corn tortillas. All right, so I've got my corn tortillas here, and so if you're doing tostada, tostadas, then you're going to just leave the tortilla whole, and then you're just gonna brush both sides with some olive oil, so that they'll cook really good in the oven, and then you just set them aside, okay? So if you're making that, and then you're just gonna cook them in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes or until they're crisp, and then you'll top it with, um, whatever toppings you want, hamburger meat and beans and, and then the veggies. If you want to do chips, then you're just going to take them and cut them into wedges. So usually I'll do um, like four to a tortilla just to get good sized chips. Oops. So here you go. And then you're just going to do the same thing that you did with the other ones and coat both sides. Okay, so you're gonna layer all of that into a single layer on, and it doesn't have to have a whole lot of olive oil on there, it's just kind of a thin layer. So you're gonna layer that on your pan, on your bacon. Fish. I'm gonna do this quick for y'all. And then you're just gonna cook them in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes. Everybody's uh, at 375. But since ovens are heat up differently, you just want to watch them to make sure um, that they get crispy, but don't burn, obviously. Okay. And then what you can do at the end, after they're all cooked and stuff, you can put some, squeeze some lime on there if you want lime flavored chips, or you could uh, sprinkle it with chili powder, um, and then some Himalayan salt or sea salt, and then um, make your nachos on a plate pretty easy and it doesn't take long to do them at home by yourself so then you put them in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes and they'll be done just watch them while they're in there and I hope this helps you guys just a healthy alternative to good old chips that we all love to have with salsa so you could even have them with salsa um, or make some nachos with them thanks for tuning in hope you guys have a great Cinco de Mayo